Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to draw this sum in auxiliary top view. Draw the auxiliary top view of a hexagonal prism of side 30 mm and axis height 60 mm with its axis inclined at 60 degree to HP and parallel to VP. Two sides of the base are perpendicular to VP. Now what do you mean by axis inclined at 60 degree to HP? See it is with vertical. So when you draw x1 y1 that will be at 30 degree. Always remember, whatever they have given is always with a vertical angle, and they have said two sides of the base are perpendicular to VP. So if you see AF and CD, they are perpendicular to vertical plane. That is XY line. So I'm assuming that this is resting on XY line. That is, it is resting on HP. So we can draw front view, top view like this. See, this is front view. This, this is top view x1 y1 which will be inclined at 30 we can do naming in top view without dash in front view with dash om o dash m dash is axis now we'll start now see this is 30 degree right axis inclined at 60 so that's why we are drawing at 30 so this will be at 60 degree it will be always perpendicular So this point is C and D. Same way, I can project B and E. This is B and E. This is A and F. Now what you have to do? Take x, y to those distance A, B, C, D, E, F. See this. On this line, x y to a, and from here you cut on this line down like this. So we'll get a. See this, x y to a. Same way we'll take x y to f. After that, b and e. So we'll take x y to b. From this, we'll cut down. So this is point B. Then same way x y two. So from here we'll cut down. This is E. Then x y two C. And same way x y two d, see this. So these are the top points a b c d e f. Now we need to draw bottom point as well. So we can do naming. We can write p q r s. This naming is for your reference. So p dash, u dash, q dash. E dash, R dash, S dash. Same way, again you take what angle? Sixty degree. Always remember it will be always perpendicular to x one y one. X one y one is a reference plane. This is P U. This is. Qt and this is Rs. Again, you do the same thing. X y to p on this line on p line will cut. 
see p and a will come in the same line so that you can keep in mind same with f and u so even if you are not marking it if you just uh, extend with 30 degrees as z square that will be also fine same with q sorry t x y to r and x y to d x y to s not d so now when observer will see from here right he can see a b c d e part upper part so upper part will be dark he can't see r s so r s will be dotted so first whenever you start such kind of sums always remember to draw the extreme bound boundary so extreme boundary cannot be dotted so first you draw all the extreme points Okay, draw this. After that, when you see from here, AF is dark. So the line passing through AF will be dark. So AF will draw dark. Then, see this. A to B will be dark. And E to F will be dark. So A, B, C, D, F will be dark because that we can see. What we can't see? RS. So RS will be dotted. And remember one more thing. The point A and F is dark corner. Like from there, whatever will go, all the lines passing through A and F will be dark. See this. So A to P and U to F will be also dark. Now RS. So RS is dotted corner. So from there, whatever line will pass through R and S will be dotted. So see R to S is dotted, R to Q, R to C will be dotted, S to D and S to T will be dotted. So we got auxiliary top view like this. See this, we see from here. We can project OM also. See in front view, we can't see axis because it is overlapping. XY to O, XY to M. So from O we can cut. And from this point also we can cut. So we'll get axis line. This is auxiliary top view. Thank you.